And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Lee Dixon, and we're just moments away from kickoff. It is Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams had the added advantage of if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea stands between the posts. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence, and potentially a real handful in attack today, Edinson Cavani. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Mateo Kovacic starts with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. Rudiger. On the ball, Rudiger. Far from a good pass. Well, as far as the hosts are concerned, we know they like to press high when they can and try to win possession back swiftly. Lee, do you think it'll be that approach today? Yes, Derek, I do. It's a brave way of playing. It's a physical way of playing as well. Brave because you're committing a lot of men high up the pitch. Physical because all the players have to buy into it. Scott McTominay. Edinson Cavani now. Fred. It's with McTominay. Scott McTominay. Cavani. McTominay. Can he put them in front? Werner. Now Giroud. N'Golo Conte. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Conte. Giroud. Here's Kovacic. Conte. Here's Kovacic. Very simple save for Daddy De Gea. Bruno Fernandes, Greenwood, Fred with it, Marcus Rashford, Cavani, it's with McTominay, Mason Greenwood, Scott McTominay, well pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity, Fred. Bruno Fernandes. Fred with it. Excellent passing. Scott McTominay. And I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. James. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? Bruno Fernandes. It's with McTominay. Lindelof. Given away by Manchester United. Conte this is Thiago Silva 
Rhys James and Golo Conte. Well, the first half of this Europa League final is in the history books, and I think it's fair to say, Lee, the game needs just a bit of a shove. Well, I was hoping not to use this word tonight, but turgid. It really is a very, very turgid game. Not enjoying this at all. We need something to change in this second half. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Rudiger. Here's Kovacic. On the ball, Rudiger. Now Giroud. Scott McTominay. Cavani Marcus Rashford Maguire Scott McTominay Shaw well, They might be onto something Chance for Cavani And a goal the first of the contest. Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. Well, as we see again here, this really is patient, accurate, incisive passing at its best. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. So Chelsea get the game restarted. How will they respond to that goal? And Golo Conte. Oh, that's an interesting pass. But a crucial intervention inside the box. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Fred. Now with Rashford. And the pass over hit. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Fred. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Chelsea really have been dominating possession, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. Mateo Kovacic. Giroud. It's with Giroud. And a throw-in forthcoming. And well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Cavani. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Shaw, Bruno Fernandes, Shaw, now in the second half, trailing, albeit by a small margin, how should they be viewing this task, Lee? Well, Chelsea, for me, have not been at their best, a little off colour in all departments, but they're still in this game, we used to say on the pitch if we were losing, we're bound to get one more chance before the end, let's see if they get that. Bruno Fernandes. And he's broken free. In it goes! And surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw us away from here. 
Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do it justice how patient they were in the build-up. And the pressure comes as he knew it would, but it's the strength that impresses me. It's a great goal in the end. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Well, a second goal for them here. Aspili Quetta. And five minutes to go. United could get in behind the defence. Scott McTominay. And Rashford. Given away by Manchester United. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. And very deftly cut out. You don't want to and there's the whistle this uefa europa league final has been decided disappointment on one side but sheer jubilation on the other and my goodness lee they deserve it absolutely deserve it they were running the clock down at the end the referee obliged and blew his whistle and quite rightly so they're now on the halfway line celebrating with all their teammates i'm pretty sure all the subs etc will come running on as well a great, great night for this football club. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, all those months of hard training sessions, pre-season training, you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions. And they'll be looking forward at moments like this. They've finally got their hands on this fantastic, magnificent trophy. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Long celebrations into the night, I'm pretty sure, Derek.